What's going on, guys? It's the Flux here, and I'm here with James Kim of Team Durable. And what, what did you place at regionals? Uh, 27. And what did you play? Uh, Infernities. Alrighty, let's get into the deck profile. So, uh, you play your basics, the three archies and three necromancers. It's not a question that you should play three of each. If you say, if you argue against me to play two, you're bad. <laughs> um, I play the one Avenger. This helps me go off the single place. Um, it makes more mo um, mobility of the deck, so I don't have to rely just on XCZ. Yeah. Um, that's it. That's it for the Invernities. Um, for the other monsters, I play Double Grapher. Yep. I was playing. I was playing this at one for a bit, but I wasn't drawing this consistently because there have been times where like I needed a Grapher in the very first hand, and drawing two of these isn't like terribly bad because you could always just pitch the other one away for like to mill like whatever you need. Yeah. So no, um, no other reason you were playing two, or just just to draw it better. Yeah, I just need to draw into it, or if I draw two, it's yeah, just another discard outlet for me. Yeah. Um, I play the one Armageddon. There'll be times where I just need just to mill a single card. I don't need a, a, a card out of my hand, yeah. so I can normal summon this to mill one card. Nice. I play double Stygian. Oh. Um, people have people have argued against me. Play two. Play just just play the one. But I have talked to many players online who actually play this deck, and they suggest me to play either two. If you're not playing two, then play the third one. Yeah. But that's if you're playing like balls to the walls and you're playing triple grapher. I'm just like I'm not. It obviously to do that. worked out for you since you played. Yeah. I play. So. I play this two, double stygian actually really helps you out. If you yeah. have a stygian in hand and you have this, and you have it in hand, you discard that and just mill another stygian. Now you have like the only cards left in the deck is like another grapher, Armageddon. Yeah. Whatever. Um, I checked this one card because I saw a lot of people playing this. Oh. One Arch Um, this card card can search you out your Archfiend or the Field Spell, which is very good. Which I can show you some of the combos you can do um, with the Field Spell. But that's 13 monsters in the main, which is actually quite a lot for Infernities, yeah. but it, it works out because you wanna, <laughs> like, like yes, you don't want to draw the monsters, but yes, you do want to draw monsters too. So you can summon them and then just set everything. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> like, it, it's good, it's good. Yeah. Spells, you play like, self-explanatory stuff, Dark Hole, the Book of Moon, uh, Rota to search out for staples. Your, yeah, the staples. Some staples. Um, Polish burial staple. Uh, win condition, because this is literally your win condition if you search it out and you know you can set up like a huge field on the board. Yeah. Um, play one chance modify. People told me play two. The second one does become dead if you can't even get it off. Yeah, so, like, so only one? Yeah, I just play the one. Does, it, it, just does it suck when you don't get it? or? It doesn't suck when I don't get it. So it's just amazing when you yes. draw it? It just helps it's you it's like, that it's like nutty when you draw into it. Like You draw this card with the necromancer answer with the foolish barrel then you can completely go off with yeah. like with too much like, but you can still win without it right yes you can win without it uh, of course you can win without it but i just thought like if you ran two of this and you draw two in the first turn and you know it can act once per turn yeah what's the point of playing the second one then <laughs> yeah um this card if most of you might not know what it does it's, it's a random rare out of the judgment oh, of light it, it increases all my all my fiends attack by 500 which is pretty nice but that's not the effect that i'm actually looking for the effect is um to target one Archfiend, one Archfiend monster, so you can actually target your Infernity Archfiend. Then you banish one other Fiend monster, and you special summon Archfiend of the level that you targeted. So you target this, banish, and then you special summon another Archfiend. Nice. So that it thins out your deck. Wow. Real quick. That is broken city. Yeah. Jesus. And like, and like, you know, when I'm playing against dragons, like, you know, you could just replace it over the ravine, which That's means really that they're good, gonna yeah. have to do something about or it. Or spellbooks. Yeah. Or spellbooks. Yeah. So it's it's really good. Um, I play double instant fusion, so I play instant fusion targets. This helps me get off um, the wall chain plays. Um, if I don't want to use two necromancers to go into Levier, I can use this to bring out a level three instead. Uh, the pay thousand, it's it's no biggie. It's like, you, might, you can OTK super quick, so it doesn't yeah, really it doesn't might as well. matter. And then triple typhoon because you got to get rid you got to get rid of your back rows to make room for back rows. <laughs> use well, it on yourself. <laughs> well, there were times where I did, but. But honestly, thinking you would never want to do that. But <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just, just in case it's there. Yeah, you know. it's there, and just to get rid of whatever cards there. Um, trap line up. You play one warning. Oh, the, the the staples, pretty yeah. much. Um, I play transmigration. This card's actually really good against dragons. This card's also really good against spell books because during their draw phase, you could just put back. Um, you could put back the magician, so their tower won't activate. Um, they play magician. They play secrets. You see them search out for masters. You could just transmigrate and put their secrets back and now they have a dead uh, masters in hand wow. so it's like they can't really do much with that card Woo. so it stops them on their track so that was just a good tech yeah what? i well i was sideboarding
doing it. But right before the event started, to main it. Yeah, I just yeah. I was like, I have to main this. I gotta do it. <laughs> okay. And this card can also put launcher back to the deck. So if I need it again, just put it back, and then I can reactivate it again. Um, obviously the double mirror, uh, the double the prisons, like you know the removal traps. Yeah, yeah. they're removals. Um, I play double call the haunted. Um, like it would suck against MST, but you know this saves this this getting MST saves my um, deep prisons. Yeah. And this also helps me get certain plays off. Like if I need if I need to get an archfiend search off, I'll call the haunted archfiend and get a search off. But it's really good. I only play two, but this is only good for for the game one matchup. Yeah. You don't you don't keep this in for the you game side two. You side it out definitely. Yeah, you yeah. have to side it out for your, your better cards. Yeah. And then two infinity breaks. I have I was debating playing the third one. I was but gonna say why only two? I the third one like. Like, I don't know. Like, the thing is, it's like, it's, I don't know. Like, I wish I was playing the third one while I was at regionals, but yeah. then at the same time, I only, I was only able to get the second one off. Yeah. And, like, I only needed the second one. So you one. never found use for a third one? You just wanted to draw it? Yeah, I just needed to draw into it, or just, like, I needed more targets to search for. Oh, okay. Because this card is really good to search out, like, if yeah. you already have barriers set. And then, obviously, the three barriers. Of course. Like, you gotta play the three barriers. <laughs> you have to. In this format, three barriers is really good. Yeah. Like, if you say two barriers good, yes, maybe against like it's good, but it's not but great. If you're gonna play against dragons, um, you're gonna need a third barrier. Yeah, because you're gonna need to stop certain cards that you just yeah. Like extra deck, gonna, extra deck. Uh, let's see, let's get it up. Um, extra deck. Anything you're missing in the extra deck? Uh, a diamond dire and a uh, lava chain. Yeah. Di diamond dire MVP MVP yeah. of regionals. <laughs> diamond dire is the main reason why I won most of my matchups, it helps me get rid of back row cards and helps me get my archers into the grave. So it's it's the MVP of my deck. Of my nice. deck. I love it. <laughs> um Levier. Yeah. Obviously. Yeah. Um, this is supposed to be a second Levier, <laughs> but I only can I only had one. But to be completely honest, um did, I you, ever use, did you ever use it? Or? Yes I did. <laughs> During my ancient matchup, he was at 2500 and I do um launcher and I go into two the necromancers, he bailers both of them. I'm like, and I ask him, how much are you at? He's like, 2,500. I overlay into Le Leviathan. <laughs> and he was like, did not see that coming. <laughs> so now I'm actually thinking, maybe I should just keep the one in there for that kind just of situation. Just for that situation. Yeah, yeah. but I'm, I will be I will be thinking about what to put in because I will be going to San Mateo. Yeah. So I'm going to be thinking if I want to put this as a second Levy or not. But we'll see what happens. Um, Dweller for the Dragon matchup, uh, Mermail matchup, because it is one of my... It's yeah. It is my bad matchup. And it's a big deck this format. Everyone's playing Mermaids yeah. now. And I set a lot of cards, so yeah. I don't want Marksman like popping every one of my cards. <laughs> and Linde does get annoying. Yeah. Uh, Cowboy is self-explanatory. I wish this card was something else. I never went into this once at regionals. Wow. Like, no? Maystroke never helped you? Uh. It never really helped me. Like, And when people play Thunder King, I would just go into a card that I just didn't need against that matchup. If they're playing Medolce, I'm like, okay, I'll just go into Dweller. If they're playing... Um, Oh, let's say, I don't know, like, just, like, and plus, it's like the one Thunder King, to be honest, if yeah. they draw it, it's like, okay, you're the luckiest player, it's a one, <laughs> it's a one, I'm like, are you serious? Uh, um, two chains. Of course. Because two chains yeah. is good. People play three, they're bad. You only need two, you only need to get this effect off maybe once at most. If you get it off the second time, they're about to lose. Yeah, they better lose if you get it off the yeah. second time. Two key beetles. Wow. This is, oh my gosh, by far the best card in this deck. You go into Key Beetle and you search out barrier, you set your barrier, and you act the Key Beetle so like you target your barrier. <laughs> That's nuts. No! <laughs> like, literally, it's like, dude, it's like, you're, it's like you're pretty much setting a card that they can't MST, they can't Night Beam, they can't get rid of it. The only way they can get rid of it is Phoenix Wing Wind Blast, but even then, I'll let them discard and I'll bury it. Right? I'll be like, okay, you just wasted a bit, you just wasted a Wing Wind Blast on a card that you probably could have gone around, <laughs> like to be completely honest. I wanted a Diamond Dire, MVP. 
of the deck. Yeah. Um, I played three synchros. Oh, this is my MVP oh, with a synchro. MVP with a synchro. CG Insurgents? CG Insurgents. It is very good. Wow. This card with um, Palabrinth is at 2700. This Ooh. card can run down a title <laughs> with a Palabrinth up. And yeah. when it destroys a monster, it gains 800 more and it becomes 3500. So it's literally a BLS with a synchro. Wow. So this card is very good. I, w I would rather want Armatus over this, but this card actually really helps it me out. It did well. It, it did, did very well. well. Yeah. I loved it. <laughs> I'm actually keeping. I'm actually going to keep this match deck because I it, went in this. So it deserved many times. a spot. It yeah, deserved it's a spot. Really yeah, good. Deck. Crimson Blader. Oh yeah. I think I want to take this out for Scrap Dragon. What? Why? Because there. Because Key Beetle. You target. You target one of your back row cards. You target that back row card and you destroy one of their cards. Your back row stays safe. Yeah. So it's a free pop. And plus, Call the Haunted's in my main deck as well, so it'd be nice with that game one, that game one matchup. But this card would also be good against. Uh, this card's so good against everything, though. Mermails, Mermails dragons, 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 yeah. So they can't work like, on high uh, It's just good against everything. I just have, like, I just don't know what to, like, I'm not sure what to put in. But like, you should take out, you should take out that Maystroke or something. That's what I'm thinking else. too. I wouldn't take this out. That's too good right yeah, now, man. That's what I'm thinking too. Maystroke, but I'm also thinking putting Armatus in too. But it's like I have to like juggle so, out. I have to keep playtesting to see what I want to put in. You'll so, get there. You'll get there. Yeah. And then Infernity Doom Dragon. This card, I didn't go once <laughs> in regionals, but this card will get you game. You wanted to? Well, actually, yes, I did win it once. I went in against once against the Spellbook matchup in first round, and I popped this um, High Priestess with this card. <laughs> like, and that was for game two. Like, I was like, hmm, I can't get over it. Uh, my Maestro has already been used up. And I'm like, I have an Avenger in Grave with a Necromancer and a um, Archery. I'm like, okay, bring back Avenger, Synchro to um, this card. <laughs> you just like show yeah, it to them. Just, to this. Like, <laughs> they're just like, they're just like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, it's, it's something I call. I'm gonna win this right now. It's the shit. Let yeah. me see it. Yeah, look at it. And you can even bring that back with Necromancer. Like, oh, if yeah. you manage to get it in grave, you can be like Necromancer. If I bring that back, <laughs> it's Damn. really good. That's so. nuts. And then since I play Instant Fusion, I play the cat. Oh yeah. My personal favorite is the cat. The cat. The cat. Just call it the cat. Yeah. And um. I wish I had Cameon Wizard, but the next best thing I found was the Dark Fire Dragon. Yeah, yeah, that's what everyone runs. But I want to be, I want to be cool and run Cameon Wizard. <laughs> but yeah, that's my extra deck. Uh, side deck, I'm missing a couple again. Yeah, but you know, it's I was fine. Just it. go through it real quick. Yeah. It doesn't matter. Um, there's a card I wish I would have side for regionals because I thought it might, it would have been really good. I thought about, I should have sided this card. Oh uh, what? What is this? This is basically Spirit Reaper, Gel and. Duo, but for infernities. Oh, with but, no cards in hand? Yeah. Yeah, with no cards in hand, it stays on the field. Pretty oh, much. Oh, wow. Oh, my Battle Alright card. Wow, that's yeah. good. So that's good. they can Dark Hole it, they can Regeki break it. So this card's actually decent for what it does. And it's all four, so like, if I don't need it anymore, I can just like season it away into like a Dweller or whatever I need. For my Blackwing match, no. Yeah, for my Blackwing matchup, my personal favorite. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> this is really good. <laughs> I just Fuck. you sit on this until until they play Icarus attack. They're gonna get rid of this card and maybe some other miscellaneous trap card or yeah. whatever. But this card, like, so they don't run down my my um, Archfiends and they summon a Shura or they summon a Sirocco. If they summon a Sirocco, it's like okay, well now, now it's just gonna sit there. <laughs> it's gonna sit there with Messenger Peace on board. Um, Nightbeam. This card makes this card is like people thought. Why are you made, why are you citing this? Well, you know what. But I need ways of getting rid of my getting rid of my hand. Yeah. Nightbeam actually is pretty decent for um spellbook matchup. Um, Inferno. It's well, not bad against Mermouse yeah. too. If you hit that one sphere that they have, it's yeah. it's it's squall for them, you know? because people yeah. playing squall again. Yeah. Um, this card can also play against uh, Infernity Mirrors because, like, you target a specific card, and either they're gonna have to barrier it or they're gonna have to let it through. Yeah. So this card is pretty good against the mirror as well. I actually like it a lot. Um, I wish I had second vanities, but I I actually sided the vanities for my deck because what you can do is you play Key Beetle and you target this card and there isn't a way they can get over it unless they put keep it all out of there but I'm gonna have a face up archery and there's no way they're gonna get rid of it 
Uh, two iron walls. Of course. It's, it's self-explanatory. Screws, dragons. Yeah. He's good. Like, Prophecies. People, people have said it screws over my Stygians and um, my Infinity Breaks. But you know what? I'll side out one Infinity Break. I was gonna break. say, you can win with that this easily, yeah. you know? Like, it's not bad. Um, double Gozen. Yeah, of course. Fiends. Um, it's very good. Very good. I actually sided against this double matchup because High Priestess, because they play different types. They High Priestess, they play um, Temperance and Magician. So when they summon High Priestess, I mean, uh, when they summon um, Temperance, I will actually go as a match on the spot. It's like when, act when they activate a spell card, I'll be like, okay, go as a match. But they have to use a fate to get rid of it too, yeah, otherwise they, have to they use can't a go fate, off. Which is like, I'm like, okay, that's fine. Yeah, because then they're just wasting resources. Yeah. That's good. Yeah, and then um, I wish I didn't side this card. <laughs> Never sided it I in? Didn't side it in once. <laughs> My mental this drain. Was, oh, man. This was for um, mind, drain. mind drain. Yeah. yeah. It's what, it was for the um, it was for matchups that, that I knew that I was playing max season in main, but I never sided in once. Yeah. But yeah. And there was actually two other cards I sided, and that was Zombie World. Oh, yeah. That's good. That I played Zombie is... World against Agents. I played Zombie World against Black Wings. Prophecies. Spellbooks. Dragons. Dragons. <laughs> Poo Pugins. Yeah, Pugins. Yeah, Pugins. <laughs> I, I never played that. I didn't play that deck once, but I would have wrecked it too hard. Yeah. Because that deck, dude, that deck got nothing on me. But that was the deck? Yeah. Alrighty, guys. That was James with Team Durable. What did you place again? 29th? 27th. 27th. Oh, that was top 32. James Kim. Peace out, everybody.